Hello everyone, my name is Vikas Shukla and in today's video I am going to discuss about how to profit or how to short rather AMC stock in a right way. And we all know that AMC is a highly volatile stock and if you are trying to short it, you are playing with fire. What I mean by this is, let's say that currently the stock is at $50.16 and if you short it, there is no guarantee that you do not lose a huge amount of money. For example, the meme, uh, it's a meme stock, we know that, and if that party um, comes together, this, this stock can go very, very high, maybe $80 or $90, and you can theoretically lose a huge amount of money. So how do we go on, um, and, and I belong to a group where we, I want to be profited by the fact that this stock is overvalued and I want to uh, profit by the fact that this is the point where it is, it is moved moderately overvalued and it should not go very high, much higher from that. And I want to profit by this thought. Now whether you are belong to that category or do not that's something that we can discuss that we can argue and etc etc but let's say we say we decided that i want to be profited by the thought that it should not go much above this value and i want to be profited by this statement that i asserted so how do i profit by this thought process uh, while staying safe so this is the topic of this uh, video. So let's say how is the situation? It's the stock is at fifty dollars and sixteen cents as of 9, 12, 2021, and at this price, its market capitalization is twenty five point seven billion dollar. What I mean by why why I place this figure twenty five point seven billion dollar is that from this price, $50 its price, let's say we want to double this price, you need $25.7 billion to move its price to the next level of doubling this price. And this figure is important because if the total valuation is let's say only like a $1 billion, then doubling the stock only requires a $1 billion to move it to the double. So this figure is something we need to keep in mind and see that the kind of the money is required to move that price. So I usually short this stock only when its mark, total market capitalization is in several tens of billions of dollars. If not, it's easy for a group of mean people to come together and move this stock to, to a much higher value. That being said, let's look at the previous um, prior history. On June 12, this stock reached $59 when its market capitalization reached $30 billion. So it gives me uh, some kind of, uh, not certainly, but to a certain degree of confidence that it's harder to get that kind of, more than that kind of money to get push it beyond $30 billion. It gets harder and harder to push it even far further. Not that it cannot happen, it certainly can happen and that's the topic I will cover in the next uh, looking uh, back and what it, the, the stock looks like is uh, in more before the pre-pandemic area it has an annual revenue that touched close to 5.5 billion dollars and based upon that it's and if it could have been a very growing stock this figure it could its market capitalization actually could reach that kind of the figure that is here but the argument against it is that the kind of the business with the AMC in is not a, a very growing or tech-like figure. It's a brick and mortar kind, kind of a business where, uh, where it, it, it's, it's, a, um, its revenue is going to be more or less constant unless it creates its brand, it uses its brand name to create some digital version of something. And in more recently, its uh, annual revenue uh, in the most recent quarter, second quarter of 2021, was 447 million dollars, which translates it into like two uh, billion dollar of the annual revenue. And with the pandemic again coming back, probably we are seeing going, not going to see see this figure jump very quickly in more very recent future. And in the prior quarters, it was even lower. So. 
but we should be we should be calculating everything based upon its pre-pandemic area, which is 5.5 billion dollar of annual revenue, but probably it won't go much higher than that. So with those things said, uh, the the strategy that we are going to use is called options vertical spread. It's a it's a it's a type of an option cell option call cell that we'll be using it, and it's, we are not familiar with the options trading option call cell or covered call cell you can take a look at some of my old or other videos or other videos that are available on the internet that talks about the option call selling so that is a something fundamental thing you need to know and that's what we will and once you know that uh, and i will cover it briefly what it is but you should uh, get a hang of it if you don't know so in the options trading what happens is and here is what i am trying to do I let's say uh, a, derive a conclusion, come to a conclusion that it's very, it's hard for this stock to get beyond $60 of price. That's my thinking and I could be wrong. But let's say that th at this point of time, I have to take a stand. I will say that it's hard or it's very nearly impossible for this stock to go beyond $60. So that is the premise. If that premise is right, I make money. How do I make money? That's the next topic. So I go to the options trading. If, if you know, you can open up your uh, brokerage account or go to Yahoo Finance and look at the options uh, tab. In that options tab, look at the October 15, 2021 $1.60 call and what is the price of that. And if you look at this table, you'll find that the price of that option is $5.80. And what does that mean? And what I do is I sell this call option of $60 on October 15, 2021. What does that mean? It means that during this period, let's say by October 15, if the stock price stays below $60, and which is what I'm thinking. I'm thinking that it can go a little bit more up, but not beyond 60. That's most likely the case. Then I make $5.80 and one option is $100, $100 per stock. So I will be making $580. In most likely case, I am going to make $580 in the one next one next month. Today is 12th um, September. So in a month, I'm going to make uh, $580. All I have to do is sell the call and collect that $580 cash. Now, I the, my brokerage account may not like it. Why they may not like it? Because the stock, for example, will uh, go much above 60. And that, in that case, it's kind of, I, uh, I have to sell that stock at a much higher price and to cover that, I should have a lot of money. So how do I, how do I take care of the scenario where the stock can go rampant, let's say above $100, $100 or something, or maybe let's say $200 or theoretically it can go to maybe $500. So how, how the brokerage um, prevents, how the brokerage takes care of those exceptional places. The idea here is to buy a, a higher priced call and in this scenario, and I, I, you don't need to go, if you don't understand it, just uh, maybe take, uh, slow it down and look at some other call or maybe try to, but here is the key idea. The key idea is, if I look at the $80 call buy option, that price is $3.13. So what I do is, I buy an $80 call, and I pay, I'm willing to pay $3.13. So what, the way it protects is, it puts an upper bound on, on the stock. So even if the stock, let's say, go $500 off or whatever, I don't have to worry about it. Because I have now have the right to buy at $80, even if the stock is $500, I have the right to buy at $80. So I don't care if it goes much beyond $80, $500, $600, whatever. Just to, taking that $500, just to take it to the extreme to be able to understand it. So my maximum loss is this $60 this $80 minus $60, only $20. I need to put in only $20 per share or $2,000 to the brokerage and then I am ready to collect this difference, $5.80 minus $3.15 on 
or two dollars and seventeen cents. So in effect, by investing two thousand dollars, I am potentially making two hundred and seventy-seven dollars, which is close to like thirteen percent or or thirteen to fourteen percent of a uh, gain in one month. Now fourteen percent in one month is a good money. But what is the caveat? The caveat is if let's say the stock goes to eighty dollars or maybe even beyond that, you potentially would be losing the two thousand dollars. Now what the way it works is the way it works is that if you keep on collecting this two two hundred and seventy seven dollars on every single month or by diversifying onto similar other volatile stocks, then if you lose once it 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 covers the gain and or, or maybe seven or eight times if you lose seven or eight times if you if you make money on seven or eight times you can potentially lose one time you will be at break even the key idea is to how to statistically do those things so that you are making you are losing only one time but you are possibly gaining uh, many uh, the rest of the 19 times then you will be very profitable the other thing is in some cases your break even is actually $62.77. So up to $62.77 you are in a break even region. Once it goes like to $65 you don't lose all $2000. You may be losing maybe up a dollar and $133 or something. With which in 60 to 70 you are losing a very small amount of of money. So that's how this whole statistical call of uh, these things happen. I'm just trying to create a, a spark in you to see how those things work and hopefully uh, uh, you can further investigate it. Write comments below and if you request uh, a, a more information, just try to go to the info and try to email me and I will come back with more suggestions. Thanks for taking a look.